Your ears are always taking in the sounds that come from all around, whether you are awake or asleep, talking or listening, walking or swimming. Even if you cover your ears, you will still be able to hear sound. Try it. It's not too hard to close your eyes and make it so you can't see anything. But you can't turn your ears off. They hear sound all the time. Listen to find out how the sounds you hear get around or through objects and into your ears. So how does sound get in your ear? Sound travels through the air in sound waves. Sound waves are bands or waves of noise. Like waves in the ocean, sound waves move up and down as they move across a space. Just like ocean waves, sound waves make noise as they move. But unlike ocean waves, sound waves are invisible. You cannot see them. Sound waves are all around you, zooming through the air and bouncing off or traveling through objects. Sometimes you can hear someone's voice out in the hallway, even though the door is closed. That is because sound waves can actually travel right through the door or wall, just like the sound waves traveled through your hands to your ears when I was talking to you. But the sounds are muffled or quieted because the waves lose strength when they pass through something. However, sound waves do not travel through everything. Sometimes they bounce off things, especially things like mountains or big buildings. Have you ever heard an echo? An echo is a sound that you hear again when sound waves bounce back off something. This photo shows a place called Echo Point in the Blue Mountains of Australia. With a good, loud shout from this cliff, the sound waves from your voice travel out and bounce off the surrounding cliffs. A second or two later, you hear your voice echo very clearly, almost as if someone else were standing on the opposite cliff and copying everything you said. When sound waves travel into your ear, they bounce off your eardrums. Your eardrums are inside your ears, and like real drums, when they get bumped by sound waves, they vibrate back and forth. When these vibrations travel inside your ear to your brain, your brain can figure out what sound made the vibrations. Your brain can also help you describe the sound by figuring out if it's loud or quiet and if it's high or low. One way to describe a sound is to tell how loud or quiet it is. This is called the volume. Volume means the loudness of a sound, how loud or quiet the sound is. Another way to describe a quiet sound is to say it is a soft sound. A whisper is a soft sound. Think back to the last time you heard a fire alarm in your school. Was it loud or soft? A fire alarm is supposed to be really loud so people cannot ignore it. The loud volume of the fire alarm makes you want to, to run away from it. If you hear a really loud noise, you might automatically use your hands to cover your ears. Your brain tells you to cover your ears in order to keep your eardrums safe from sound waves that might damage them. Sometimes people use earplugs or earmuffs to keep the really loud, damaging noises out of their ears. So, protect your ears from loud noises 
And unless a parent or doctor is helping you, never put anything in your ears. The only things that should go in your ears are sound waves.